Welcome to the second video of Rocket League for Dummies. In this episode, we will cover the overall understanding of the settings of the game. This includes the camera settings, the control settings, and for UPC users, the video settings. Finding the settings is not difficult at all. When you find the settings, you are met with this. It may seem like a lot, but let me quickly explain. These first three options is a personal preference. When looking at the text chat, you have these options. To keep away from toxic opponents, use your team only options. Some players play with this disabled, but it is not recommended as some players use the quick check to say whether or not they will go for a kickoff. The rest of the settings are self-explanatory, but normally I leave these two options off. The reason behind that will be in another video. Next we go to the camera settings, and this is one of the most important options we have in the game, and let me explain carefully. First off, for any player, I highly recommend turning camera shake off. But the first option we have is field of view. With the default settings, your field of view is 90, which looks like this. The most common field of view is 110, and here are the settings side by side. Next we have distance, and this is the distance from your car. Normally you see professional players around the 270, the 280 range. In some instances you may see 290 or 260, but here's the difference between 300 and 250. On average, the distance for Rocket League Pros is about 280, and this is what it looks like right here. Once you have your distance figured out, it is time to figure out the height of your camera. You can go all the way to 200 or even down to 40, your choice. The most common range for the height of the camera setting is between 110 and 130. And here they are, side by side. So far we have 3 down, now we go to angle. Real talk, just put it between negative 3 and negative 4, just my advice. Probably the most complex setting of them all, camera stiffness. There's not a specific range that people usually use it. On average, the pros normally put it around 0 0.4. However, you, some might have it at 0 or all the way to 1. This setting holds your camera in place based on how fast you are going. If you have a low stiffness and you're going really fast, it will look like this. If you have a high stiffness, it will look like this. This setting is really personal preference, as is most of the settings we are discussing in this video today. But out of all the camera settings, this is the most changeable setting out of all of them. Sometimes you want to look around with the camera that you have. In some instances in higher ranks, you can and maybe will use this option to see where people are at. Depending on where you put it, it determines how fast this camera moves. Professionals normally put this at, at 5. On to the next option, we look at the control settings. Control dead zone is a setting that lets you configure how sensitive you want your stick to be. This means that the stick will only register the movement once you are over the dead zone which you have set up. The lower you have this setting, the more sensitive it will feel. Most Rocket League pros seem to have it around the 0 0.05 to the 0 0.15 uh, with the usual outliers. If you're just now starting to play the game, I'd recommend it to be somewhere around 0 0.15. Because the lower you can go, the more difficult it is to control your car. As I'm doing this video, I've kind of come to realize that going through the video settings probably isn't, I mean, it is, wouldn't be a bad idea. But this is actually going to come down to the type of computer you have. Your resolution is your resolution, and then the, um, everything else is based on your computer's performance. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit longer. And stay tuned for episode number three.